Long enough to cover the subject, short enough to keep it interesting. Welcome to Out of My League. I'm Nick Diaz. So Friday was the beginning of Phase 1 in Louisiana. Everyone was able to get out of their houses and walk around town. And some people went to LSU to visit Mike the Tiger, I assume. Well, a picture of LSU popped up on social media the other day. And one of those pictures was in front of Tiger Stadium, where the three national championship plaques, 1958, 2003, and 2007, all lined up in chronological order year to year. Now, on the far left next to the 2007 plaque, a new concrete base is being built. Obviously, this is probably the 2019 national championship team. However, on the far right, next to the 1958 National Championship plaque, you see another plaque being raised. Which got everyone thinking. It's 1908. It's the 1908. Is LSU finally claiming the 1908 National Championship, which is rightfully theirs? Now, Nick, what the hell are you talking about? I and many LSU diehards have been clamoring this for years. LSU has five national championships. Not four. They have five. LSU is historically known for being crowned as the 1908 national champions of college football and the only team that year to go undefeated, untied, and was officially recognized by the National Championship Foundation, a foundation set up by the NCAA as the 1908 national champions. LSU was known as a point-a-minute team, outscoring its opponents 442-11 to 11 on the season. It is known as one of the most dominant teams in college football history. LSU football should, and hopefully they will, claim what they should have claimed over 100 years ago, the 1908 National Championship. Now, some of you were saying, well, LSU shouldn't do this. Princeton says they have 17 national titles. Why do you want to be like Princeton? That's so lame. Well, guess what? Some of those national titles, Princeton actually earned. Princeton has every right to claim those national titles. Well, yeah, but Princeton is not relevant in college football today. It's so stupid. No one cares about that. Uh, Notre Dame and Michigan claim all of their most of their national titles, I should say, from that era before the AP poll. Nobody gives them shit about it because they are still relevant. They've won national titles in the past 30 years. And they claim a bunch of their national titles still on their banners from that era. From that foundation. Yeah, but this was before the, the AP poll era, pre-1936. Those national championships don't count. What the hell are you talking about? So a foundation set up by the NCAA is somehow not as good as a vote from nerdy media sports writers giving their opinion. Where is your logic? But LSU doesn't want to be like Alabama claiming all of those stupid national titles. Alabama gets, let me tell you something, Alabama gets shit because they claim national titles in seasons they finished with two or three losses. Yet the because the Birmingham newspaper crowned them as national championships in their little poll. So they put up banners and Alabama never took it down. True story. Look it up. Yeah, but Nick, nobody does this claiming national championship stuff from several decades ago in today's world. The hell they don't. In 2016, Oklahoma State was retroactively awarded the 1945 National Championship after appealing their claim to a coaches committee that awards championships to rightful teams that they believe should have won. And sure, people all across the country in 2016 gave Oklahoma State crap for doing this because they never won anything. But that won't happen to LSU. And I'll tell you why. LSU just had the greatest season in college football history. Winning cures all. And 
I'll give you one more reason why this is the perfect timing to claim the 1908 championship. It's called parallels. Sometimes in history there are parallels and coincidences that make truth stranger than fiction. Little background on the 1908 team, according to an article written by And the Valley Shook last year. LSU fired their head coach, Dan Killen, after a dismal 1906 season. Now, it's not that the team was terrible, but the style of play was dreadful. They continued to play an outdated, run heavy offense. LSU hired Edgar Wingard to replace him. He was known as a notorious hellraiser and a skilled recruiter. But what helped the most is Wingard quickly installed a fast-paced offense, which relied on deception, speed, and the newly invented forward pass to change LSU's offense. Coach Wingard immediately went to work on recruiting a quarterback from the Midwest named Doc Fenton, and the National Football Foundation recognized LSU quarterback Doc Fenton as the retroactive Heisman Trophy winner for 1908. Parallels. Now, you may be saying, okay, Nick, well, this all sounds great, but why didn't LSU claim the 1908 championship this whole time? Because people are assholes. That's why. Famed sports writer Grantland Rice back in 1908 accused LSU of employing ringers, that is professional players who were paid, and that that he had proof. Of course, he never produced the proof. It's also important to note, as this sports writer, Grantland Rice, was a Vanderbilt graduate and wrote for the Nashville Tennessean, Vanderbilt was the big Southern football power back in that era. Since then, the SIAA, the conference, cleared LSU of using any ringers in 1908. No proof. LSU just never got around to claiming the national title because of a fake news scandal. LSU, claim what is rightfully yours. Don't worry about what people will say, because right now, after the season the football team just had, LSU is the wolf, and everyone else is the sheep, and wolves don't concern themselves with the opinion of sheep! Thanks for listening to Out of My League. If you like what you heard, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or follow me on Twitter at the Nick Diaz. See you later.